because that we're going to 3D print, but we, we don't have the resources for it. Um, but this is going to be kind of just a, a basic orbital vehicle. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Empyrean Galactic Survival. Let's check our crops, shall we? Because I think, I think we're going to get... Oh, that says pre-harvest, pumpkins growing. Oh, we did get some more spice. We can grab that. Mushrooms are growing. We got the grains, the herbal leaves, the natural sweetener. Things are looking good. Uh, we need more vegetables. We need a lot more vegetables, actually. But we kind of already knew that. I think we'll go ahead and just put our stuff in our fridge here. Actually, I'm a little hungry. What can we eat today? Well, we can just eat a meat burger. Sure, we have some of those. We can make some more. We'll make a couple more meat burgers, and then I think we'll just eat one for good measure. Mmm, that's good stuff. Very nice. couple energy bars just to kind of top us off here. Delicious burger. <clears throat> Pardon me. Delicious burger first thing in the morning. It's mostly cloudy today. You can see we have uh, the moon on the rise. I believe that's the moon. Um, and we have an adventure to get into. So, for the Azure Spark, as I'm sure you remember, I built this off camera and then we just factory printed it in the game to save time. Uh, but I've had a few people inquire if I would build the next vehicle on camera and since we need a rocket to get to the trade station to leave the planet and actually obtain the coupon for the zero gravity root beer seems like a little bit of vehicle construction is in order so we're gonna go ahead and just kind of build it up here I think what we'll do first is oh, I kind of want to make a launch pad but I'm not sure how far away we can connect to this network. Let's go ahead and just grab some concrete and see how far away we can get. I, I got a wireless transmitter in, but I don't... Oh, pretty far. This is not so bad. I, I, can, I can deal with this. So let's see, if we just... Do I want to sink it down into the earth like that or lay it out on top? I guess... Oh, 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 right. Connect not available. I'll get the right button. Connect not available. Select building block and toolbar. Point on base. Press connect. How is that not... Connect to base. Okay, we had to be a little bit closer. There we go. So I'm thinking three, six, nine. That'll do. Just kind of something basic. Uh, well, let's see. We don't need to be connected to this anymore for the moment. Yeah, because we're not going to make anything really impressive at this point, uh, even though we have kind of made some impressive things. Oh, look, it's... The fog is lifting. Uh, it's not exactly a thing I want to do a lot of travel with because that we're going to 3D print, but we, we don't have the resources for it. Um, but this is going to be kind of just a, a basic orbital vehicle. So in order to get started, uh, there we go. We're going to need to connect to the printer. And let's start with small craft devices. Uh, are we going to make weapons? Oh, should we Should we make weapons? Not for this trip. I don't think that's the way we want to go. At this point, if we run into any weapon requirements, we're just going to retreat back to base. I think what we'll start with... Why can I not see small vessel starter block? That's important. And then let's see, we're going to need... 
steel blocks, hardened steel, artificial mass blocks. No, 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 no. We're going to start with steel blocks. We're going to need a few of these. And then we're going to need a cockpit, a fuel tank, an O2 tank, yep, a generator. I don't think we need that stuff. Or manual doors. Sensors and signals. Cargo box. Yeah, cargo box wouldn't hurt, right? Maybe. And then do we want to build a couple of decorative devices? I am not so certain. A couple of lights would probably be handy. Again, we're talking about something basic. Something really, really basic. Let's see. We are going to need some thrusters. Right. So let's go ahead and look at our tech tree. Small vessel. And uh, we'll see. We could upgrade the generator. We could move the detector. Oh, see, we could... But I don't, I don't want to go that road yet, and we have guns, and we have all kinds of cool stuff, but that's, this is simply, like, you know, we're going to build a, a more basic vehicle, sort of. Thruster S, Thruster M, probably not a bad idea to go to Thruster M for this. Um, I don't think we're going to do any kind of an open cockpit, this is going to be something simple, Spotlight's probably kind of valuable. Landing gear, that's... Landing gear is probably necessary, right? I mean, let's think about what we're going to need. I don't think we're going to change off the cargo box for now. Not for now. Um... We are going to need an RCS. Mobile constructor. Oh, that would be nice. Let's let's not worry about all of that just yet. Not quite yet. So back to where we were. We're going to need the the RCS. Just one. Um, let's say two, three landing gear. And for the medium thrusters, I think we'll need... Let's say, let's say one, and then the small thrusters will get um, one, two, three. Nothing cosmic, and then some modular wings. Uh, let's, let's give it two wings. Not because we need those in space, obviously, but because we're going to need them to travel around the atmosphere, or at least to give us a little bit more lift um, when trying to depart the atmosphere. All right, so let's queue all this up into our logistics here. Where are my objects? Oh, there it is, there it is. Small vessel starter, and then we'll just go right on down the line, right? So we're gonna go steel, steel blocks, whoops, nope. Ah, trying to find a faster way than dragging. I'm sure there is. That's okay. The O2 tank, right? The fuel tank, the generator, cockpit, cargo box, and what we have the uh, the RCS, the lights. And then we'll get the modular wings here in a second. I believe they're probably still... Yeah, we're still crafting stuff. Okay, so to start with, we're going to place our vehicle. The arrow tells us which way is forward. And I want the cockpit to sit on top of this and to ride sort of high. So we're going to put that up front there. I'm not sure... What is... Uh, did it... So we got kind of a little ghosted image, it looks like. Hmm. 
let's go ahead and let's try to center up our cockpit on this. Uh, let's see. We want to do a three wide. The sleek ones look really neat, but the problem with the sleek cockpits is that they're only two wide. And the starting block they give you is three. Now I realize you can... Oops. That is the wrong button. I realize that we can... Yeah, see, this is weird because it's... It's trying to show showing this extra this extra block here I don't, I don't like that at all um, that's right we're gonna work around it so I think the best way to just move on is to put a cockpit on top of it uh, maybe we do want the sleek cockpit I don't really think so though I'm thinking this is a pretty neat little design here for the the type of ship that I want to make we'll start like this so now we have a cockpit. Hmm. How interesting. Okay, so reloading did not uh, help us, but it did in fact pull everything out of my inventory. That's interesting. I wonder if... I have a theory. Uh, let's just try this for science really quick, and then we won't spend any more time on it. Uh, we'll make another starter block, and I'll try to move it around and see if it can put this, this ghosted image somewhere else. Until then, let's get back to our metal blocks here, and start looking at yep the generator and the fuel tank. So kind of keeping the design nice and simple, I'm thinking we do the generator here what I want though is yeah the generator to look like that and then we'll do the fuel tank on top of that which the fuel tank is going to need to rotate like this be right side up details matter then next we'll do the O2 tank and the RCS, right? And I think we'll just get the RCS here and the O2 tank here. We can put this one back. Now we've got a uh, landing gear, which we're gonna have to add those here in a second. The lights, very good. The cargo box, and then we have our thrusters. Sure thing. This is still building. Okay. The landing gear. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a bit of a bit of a thing. Let's go ahead and see if we can't make the front of this look kind of nice, right? So I'm thinking we want to let me see here. There we go, like this. And like that. Uh, we could have done a symmetrical build, but mm, I, yeah, I think that's going to be the better way to do it. So from here, we got what? Well, this is a corner C. Um, what we need is a non corner, just a regular C, a uh, ramp C. About like this. And uh, here's what we're going to do is we're going to actually snap a symmetry plane. Yep, about like that. And then build this one here. And then we'll snap a new symmetry plane in the middle. And then we'll go back to our C corners, which we got right over here. Corner C. About like that. So now we have sort of this 
this front, it's not maybe as sleek as we would want. It's a little stubby, kind of a stub nose. Um, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Again, we're we're sort of going for something that's relatively easy to construct without spending too much time on it. All right, so back here, we're, we're just going to encase this stuff like this, and then we'll use another ramp C here to box this in a little bit. About like that. All right, let's unsnap the symmetry plane, and then let's see if we can potentially grab this starter block here and get it to change, right? Huh. How bizarre that it's... It wants to... Oh. Yeah, that's... That is unusual. We might just have to deal with that. Which is a little... Uh, bizarre. We could always go for... Let's see, if the color... Yeah, the color is not even going to... Uh, to make it disappear. Hmm. Well, we're not yet ready for the color in earnest. Let's go ahead and... We're going to queue up about 20 more steel blocks. I don't think I want this, though. So we're going to retrieve these blocks, and you know what? These... Those can stay. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is we'll leave that there, and then this will be more of a slope down like this, and then this will be more of a C corner as well. We can go ahead and snap to symmetry here, and just, oop, nope, to the middle, to the middle, thank you, and complete that. Very good. Okay, it's a little blocky, it's not too, too bad. The main thing we're going to work on is this back section here. And honestly, we need to make a few changes here now that I'm looking at things. So first things first, let's give ourselves a... Did we only make... We only made three thrusters. Now, if we're taking this thing in space, we actually need to be a little more concerted with our thrusters. Like, we need to actually think about what we're doing. Mm, yeah, we'll likely need a spotlight. Let's go two spotlights, and then... Ooh, electronics. We are straight out of silicon. Okay. Okay. Well, this was bound to happen. Let's see, we know where some silicon is though. Yep, right over here, approximately 60% left. So let's go on a journey real quick and grab some of that. We can coast over much of, much of this terrain here. Ooh, ooh, look out for the tree. Okay, we have the damaged UCH dart. Now, as I understand it, we could use that. We could try to repair that and take that in the space, but... Um, and I've seen that some people are a fan of that. I don't necessarily want to take scrap into space. I want to build. Where are we at in relation to... Oof, not even close. Waypoint, remove on approach, accept. Okay, we need to change our heading because, oof, we just hit a tree. There it is. 
Relations improving with the Xerax, all because we're just straight out of their, out of their territory. Find the path of least resistance here. I think we can just kind of bounce over this water, engage the jump jets. Yep. These flat areas work really, really well. Oof. Ugh. Until you clip a tree like that. More pentaxid. Quite a bit of it, actually. Alright, let's stop. Yeah, I know. Generally, there's a lot of radiation in these areas. Oof, a lot. It won't stop. Alright, so that takes care of that. Back to our waypoint. Now we've got to cut through the brush. Now our work is cut out for us. Um, oof. It's going to be tricky. Large ancient tower, smuggler's barge. Oh no, now we've done it. I don't think I don't think we can get enough jump height on our jets to get over these trees though. Okay, there we go, there we go. Yep, shallow water of the marsh. Okay, we got a little bit of a jump. Let's try again. As soon as we get up to these trees, we're going to try to kind of jump as high as we can here. Silicon seems to be our biggest limiting factor with a lot of this stuff. There we go. Just jump. Needs so much for electronics. And it's, it's definitely the mo more difficult resource to come by. But in the end, once we have a vehicle that can travel through the air, traversing these planets will be significantly easier. Alright, nose up. We're just going to skim right past that pangolin there. Ooh, ooh, we're sort of, yep. And a bit of a dilemma. There we go. Easy. Not so bad. Not so bad. And there you have it. We have arrived. So let's post up right here. Let's stop. We'll switch to the drill. We'll attach ourselves to the cargo logistic container. And then we're going to send the drone down. And we're going to gobble all this resource up. Assuming we have the uh, inventory space, we're just going to snatch it all. Should go nice and quick now with our improved drill compared to what we had the last time. Plus, any crushed stone is just going to help us with concrete and also with supplementing our ores. If you get enough uh, crushed stone, you know you can actually make whichever ore you need, but the conversion rate is not great. It takes a significant amount. Only 10% left showing on the screen. Cannot pick up inventory full, so this is where we disconnect from that and start picking it up ourselves. Well, it looks like we're still showing 10% silicon here in little tiny bits. We want to get it all until the marker disappears. Yep, there's some there, there's some there. Xerax has finally changed to unfriendly because we've spent enough time not shooting them. I'm not really that excited about that, though. That's not something that I... Okay, there it is. So it officially 
no longer is showing any sort of deposit here at all. So we have cleaned it out. And our inventory is actually pretty full. So I'm thinking we might just run a scan here, see if there's anything nearby. Question mark, question mark, resource. That might be worth investigating. That's going to take us even further away, though. Now, I don't want to do any exploration. We want to get back to making our... Oh, it's so difficult. Not so much to get distracted, but just not to want to multitask exploration into what we're doing. always want to see the new the new things that we've yet to see. So we're going to try and use most of this lake as a nice flat surface. Oof. Shows what I know. Look at all this brush growing out of this morass here. We'll just ping things nearby. See what resonates. It's a copper deposit there. It's not really anything we need, though. Ooh, this area looks a little, a little deep. Oh yeah, this is considered a lake. I see. Let's see if we can jump over this brush. Jump jets. Up, up. Nope, nope, nope. Not enough height. Yeah, it's tough. Those jump jets are really just for clearing small obstacles. And I, I have quite a few of them on the bottom of the Azure Spark here, so... Ooh! Nope. Nope. Okay. Let's push through. Oh. See, this is this is why we need a spaceship. Oh, come on. It's tough on such an overgrown planet. It is challenging, to say the very least. Okay, this is the crash site where the escape pod rests. We should just be able to push right through here. Yep, cut over. Nope, caught that tree. Almost halfway down on the fuel tank. Oh, I wonder if we're even still making fuel. We'll just jump jet over this. That's what we're going to have to look at, honestly, is what our fuel tank is sitting at. Oh, gosh, maybe, maybe leaving this area has straightened out our, uh, our small vessel. Oh, wouldn't that be grand? All right, let's go ahead and lower ourselves down. We can see nice and flat where we're sitting on the landing pad, and then power off. Perfect. Look at that. Okay, so let's connect and transfer to the base all of this, and then our inventory as well, all of that. Now, let's take a look at the fuel. Oh, my. What a sunset. Ah, there is um, some pretty, pretty awesome vistas, I must say, in this, in this world. I cannot wait to see more worlds. Um, let's switch over to the chainsaw, as we're going to need to chop down some of these trees. And bring back fuel. Wow, that's quite a distance covered on that logistic network. Very nice. That wireless extender, we only built one of them, too. That wireless extender really reaches out there. All right, well, let's reload. We have the fuel for that. this alien plasma. 
because it's it's in abundance here, which is really cool. I have a feeling it's not always going to be. What was that? The sun is setting. Uh, technically, according to the, the time log, the sun has set. Maybe I don't want to be down here. Everything does get a little squirrely at night on this planet. You have to be careful. Alright, we'll get a little bit more. And then I think we're gonna grab this iron rock because it's right here. Oops. Oh, I keep hearing noises. All right, let's get out of here. I'm sufficiently creeped out. We're gonna take all this plant protein back with us. I, I don't know if I wanna work through the night or not. I don't, we might. I, I suppose it doesn't hurt anything to sleep through the night. We never outfitted our bedroom with cool stuff, though. I suppose we should put some furniture in our bedroom. Oh my goodness. The trials and tribulations of getting back up to the base without the Azure Spark to help us. Copper? I'll, I'll jump on that. I'll take that. My heart is pounding out of my chest. Gotta stay alert. Crazy things come out at night, even up here. Um, is this... No, that's part of the cockpit. Um, yeah, we're going to stick with that shape for now. I'm happy with that. Let's turn our outside lights on. And we'll just throw these in there and say, yeah, make as much fuel as you can, please. Now, if we switch over to player inventory, and then over here we'll go to the base, the fridge, we'll put away this stuff. And then if we go to the cargo box, we'll put away this stuff. Okay, sounds good. Now, as we were doing before, let's make some thrusters. Perfect. And then we'll head over here and we'll start applying things. See, the spotlights are pretty easy, actually. They're going to go... I guess we could do one on either side. Let's, let's pull these back, and then what we'll do is we'll go... Let's see, horizontal spotlight. That's spotlight down. No, I want a horizontal spotlight here. No, I don't. It's it's not going to match the same profile, so we're going to have to change it. But you know, this is this is part of the process that happens um, when you when you do your build on camera. So let's go ahead and build two spotlights here, and then what I really want is the reverse thruster. Thrusters here medium thruster there, and then the landing gear and the lights. So we'll do the small thruster this way. Like this. And then we're going to need 
this block and this block to go away. As these are going to be, let's see, if we rotate it like that, yep. Thruster pointed this way, and then thruster pointed that way. So now we have left, right, backwards, and we're going to need up and down. Right, so that's where we're going to put in... Yep, right here. Alright, let's... We're gonna have to look at it from the top if we wanna... Oh, what am I doing? We have a drone for this. Whoa, if I can stop the spinning. Ooh. Yeah, point it up. And this one will be... Oof, did we not make... Yeah, one more thruster. There it is. Pointed down. So let's... Like that. Yeah, the exhaust is the direction of the thrusts. This one pushes down, that one pushes up, this one pushes left, this one pushes right, this one pushes backwards, right? And then we're going to make a medium thruster, which really we should make two of these, and maybe not even right there. Let's go ahead and queue up a second medium thruster. And did we get a cargo box built? We did. Let's let's install that as well. I would actually like the larger cargo box if I could. See, these are two. Is there one that's three? There is not. All right, well, I think what we can do is just rotate it like this. Yep, and just have the cargo box mounted like that, at which point we're going to take all of these steel blocks and then these modular wings down. The modular wings can get a little crazy if you let them. Um, but I would like something with a little bit of character. A little bit. Probably... thinking if we take a plane of symmetry here and go like this nope here and then go like this and this we sort of make a neat little a little hatch there and then up here is where we can do our C ramp down like that And at this point, I think we'll change the symmetry plane to in the center, like that. And this is where we're going to do our C corners. Um, that's not quite... There it is, like that. That I can almost be happy with. Let's get rid of this one, and let's get rid of this one. And instead, replace these with a flat C ramp. That way they sort of match where they're positioned. And let's get our symmetry plane back in order. Like that right here and at that point what we want is two engines and I don't think it matters too much is there oh yeah there is okay so this is what we want here we want 
a slanted thruster like this, but we're going to make the symmetry plane in the center. Like that. And put the engine. And we did not have the second one in our inventory. Wah, wah, wah. That's okay. These tools are here to help, um, but it's not the end of the world. There you go. Let's turn off our symmetry plane so we can get a better look at it. Right, see, that's pretty good, pretty good. It's a little... Mm, I almost think I should maybe move this thruster back more to be more centered, but, but no, 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 no. I'm not going to worry about that because we're going to pull the wings... Tapered, long, small. No, more like swept back wings. Could be fun. Let's get the plane of rotation proper here. That might help. That's kind of neat. Maybe it would be... See, if we put them down low, then you can still sort of see the cargo in the back. Let's do that. And that was totally a moment to engage our symmetry. It's okay. It's okay, I won't tell if you don't. Boom. Okay, short little stubby wings, granted, but they're there. Yeah, it's not so bad. I kind of want there to be more here. Something more like... Something more like uh, this, maybe? That meets the... Because I like having these slopes, but I also want, I do want some of these hard angles. Let's, again, just do it like this. And then on the other side, like that. You know what, though? These stubby wings aren't doing it for me. They're not, no. They're not, they're not doing it. We need, we need a little more. We need a little more. I get it in space. It doesn't really need r wings. I mean, if we're just worried about space, we could make it like a rocket. But the wings will help it travel in the atmosphere. Did we put a fuel tank on this thing? What? Tell me I did. I've already... Nope. No, no, no. Um, what am I trying to do? Small vessel. Not the logistics, though. I feel like it's not... No. Control panel. Okay. Oh, oh, it's over here. Yeah, alright. I'll have to remember the hotkey for that. So did we put fuel on it? That's the question. I'm sure that I did. But I'm not seeing it. Okay, well, that's going to make some things interesting. <laughs> We're going to need that fuel tank, boss. 
Alright, let's erode the piece here, and here, and there. What is that? That's that's a thruster small. That's a generator. Mm. That's the fuel tank. Well, or no, that's the oxygen tank. Well, what we need, let's go ahead and just grab it. We're going to need that fuel tank. We're going to need the thruster we destroyed. And we're going to need more of these metal blocks. Not a problem. So, fuel tank is where we're going to put here. That's what happened. I removed the fuel tank for the thruster. Instead of... I bet... No, 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 no. We'll, we'll stick with our original thought, right? So we'll do that. And then this over here, this is just going to be these two intricate parts and then another C corner? No, the C corner already exists. So it's actually just these, these wall pieces here, these full squares. Okay, so it's symmetrical. So then all we need is a downward thruster... And I think the simplest solution, if we get our little drone out, is to just put it here, like this, like that. Okay, now, if we go back to our constructor here, let's go ahead and we'll print out uh, two more modular wings. Copper and silicon, yeah. I think what we should do while we're sitting around and waiting is actually let's queue up um, let's queue up a, a nice chunk of silicon ingots. And just get them going. Okay, and then we'll pull back out the wings and let's look at let's see we had swept, tapered. No, let's try swept medium. I think that's something we can work with. So, if we change to something like... This. Oof. Okay, we, we missed our symmetry again. Right there. Right. That is our symmetry. So then the next one will be tapered small, or swept small, swept, swept small, and we will actually engage our symmetry plane this time. I remember. Nope, no, no, we're not doing that. And then rotate, rotate, boom. Okay, let's turn off the symmetry plane and take a look at this. Not bad. Um, considering that we're trying to do it quickly and without a lot of revisions because we're doing it on camera, this is sort of what we're going to get. Now what we're going to do is place some lights. So I would like, let's see, I would like a light... Um, can I go... This is like floating. This is not on top of it. Nope. Okay, so the lights don't want to go there. Instead, we'll do... We'll do lights here. And here. And then we'll do lights here. And here. Okay. Okay fairly good. Let's go ahead and break out our color texture tool. And first things, first thing is first, let's make the whole thing the color we need. Okay. Nice and nice and blue. Now when we get in here, 
There it is. I knew I'd remember it. All right, let's get our fuel tank going. And, yep, we're going to fill up the fuel tank with what we got. 70%. Okay, that will do very nicely. Then I think what we need to do is start her up. We don't have a, a large ability to get airborne, so to speak. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay, so in order to get lift, we do, in fact, have to go forward. Um, the problem being I'm trying to... Uh, trying to put some landing gear on here. Oh, do we have tiny, tiny landing gear, maybe? Something small, and there we are. That's that's more what I'm searching for. Maybe the drone can get us a little bit. Oof, look at all that under underside not painted. For shame. Blue, blue. Okay, I'm thinking what we need is on one side of the symmetrical plane, like that. Yep. And then we need two in the back, like that. And one in the front. I'm sure there might be an easier way to do this, but this always seems to be the most cosmic part of this, is trying to build on the underside of something. Yeah. So what we'll need to do now, perhaps, is... is um, get this thing to land on its landing gear and then step out of it, maybe, while it's... There we go. Boom. Now, let's go ahead and paint it up. Oh! Whoops! <laughs> oh, that was not what we wanted to happen. Um, gosh, can we get the? Uh, I'm just gonna start ripping pieces and panels off. There we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and get this thing docked where its landing gear is up, and. I get it. It doesn't not it does not have a lot of vertical takeoff and landing capability, unfortunately. It's it's a bit tricky. This thing is definitely designed for space and not for uh is that what I want? That's that's not what I want actually. Okay. It's designed for space. It's not designed for hopping around and this is made to take off like a rocket, so, and that's why it has all the lift from the wings and the back thrusters. It can go really fast, but vertically, yeah, just bare, bare movement. Now, what I would like to do, let's change to a small panel. Let's get some lights. Um, I would actually like some bright lights on, let's see, uh, this panel and this panel. Uh, no, actually, no, not, not that. So we've got the dark blue lights. I want the bright lights here. And no, no, let's let's change it back. Maybe something that's not so bright. What about these? Mm. No matter what we do, it's going to be What about these? Yes. Yes, I accept those terms. And then I'm thinking for the wings, um, I don't really like... Here, let's get out the drone so we can, we can check it out here. I don't really like that design for the drone. Or for the wings, rather. I want something more... We could just do smooth without being paneled. I, I, can, I can work with those terms. 
brighter wings. And then up here, we need something more like this. And then maybe something a little more subtle. That's we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, let's see. If we just go with blue and this, we can maybe no. If we want the lights, stand by. We want the lights to change in color, right? We have to do it like this. And we can change their intensity. Yep, just like with the other lights. Okay. I do appreciate this. I think for the back section, we're going to need some kind of vents. Let's see what happens if I vent the engines. Yeah, you know what? I like that. Let's keep that the way it is. This underside needs to be... No. This underside needs to be like all one piece here. Like it, it just needs all these little lines smoothed out of it, I think. Same thing with the side here. Yeah, just smooth all this out. They're going to have to think smooth, see? So we're going to iron the we're going to iron the wrinkles out of your brain. Let's go uh Maybe something a little sharper, like... Mm, no, 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 maybe... Uh, no, 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 let's, let's not do that, let's not do that. Let's keep it, the blue that we have. I think I can work with this, although probably the... Well, no, I don't want to add a fin. There's not really not much room for it. Okay, it's a stubby little vehicle, but... It's a beginner, and we built it. We built it uh, on camera without using too awful much time, and lo and behold, it will take us into space. So let's go ahead and do that. I think we'll connect to the fridge really quick. We'll have another meat burger, and then we'll unplug from the fridge. And we're going to take off. Let's cut the lights off. We don't really need them up here. So we're sort of, yeah, like a rocket straight up. All right, let's stop, let's stop, let's stop. Let's go ahead and, whoa, yeah. We're gonna need a bigger cargo container because we can pretty much go anywhere we want now on this planet. No strings attached. All right, well, the sun's coming up. Let's go ahead and punch out through into orbit. Okay. And that's a thing. But you know what I realized we did not do? I don't think we filled up our oxygen container. Yeah, I don't think we I don't think we t we put oxygen in our container and oh, there's the moon. And I also don't think I uh I don't think we have oxygen for our suit either. What is what is highlighting over here? There's this. There's something here, right? There's like a marker on my radar over there, and then, and then there's the distillery. 
uh, let's let's go back down into the atmosphere because we're going to need to we're going to need to get some oxygen on board. I was in such a hurry to leave the atmosphere, I didn't stop and think about the, the ramifications. And plus, we don't have a scanner, so that is that is also a problem. Where the heck are we? Nope. Hold on. We'll figure it out. Oh, there we are. Alright, so we just need to fly straight ahead. That's our base area there. Goodness, we're going to need a detector. We're going to need some oxygen. Oh, I was in just such a hurry to go. Go, go, go. We don't even really have a runway to land on. We just have this little, this little area out here. Let's just drop it. I think the landing gear. Oh no, the landing gear deployed just fine. All right, let's go ahead and connect, and let's retrieve all this concrete. I don't want this anymore. Waste of space. Gosh, I guess the question is, do we even have oxygen bottles? Oh, man. I feel like we do. I'm not certain. Uh, let's... Maybe... Split this in half, like that. And... O2 bottles, right? I think that's fairly simple. Main oxygen, 63%. That works for me. Are we going to be able to make small bottles for us? I don't know if that's a thing. Oh, our base is under attack. Oh, man. In the morning light. That's how it happens, isn't it? Where are they coming from? I don't... Oh. From the south. Oh, the joke is on you. I fear, I fear you're not going to fare very well. Visual. Okay, we do not have the range in this atmosphere to engage. We're looking at two, two rocket drones and a minigun drone. Yep, there they go. They're being engaged by the turrets. I think we're going to creep ahead here, try to stay low, and engage them from the cliff line. Okay, minigun drone has us. Boom. There we go, one down. Rocket drones are trying to use terrain masking. Yep. Oof. Reload, reload. Boom. There we go. One down. Oof. Rocket drone has visual on us. It's staying low. There we go. Not so bad. Not so bad at all. And I will just take all of these goodies, please. I think we'll even head down here and grab these. And then head back up to base and grab the ones we got there. And looking at the time, that little bit of excitement is going to have to be where we wrap it up. 
right at the end of the episode. We'll have to do space in the next episode, but we did our vehicle construction on camera. So the next vehicle will likely be a little more involved and I'll probably do it off camera as well because that's when I can really take my time and um, make it look amazing. Otherwise it would be uh, many, many hours. Until next time, take care.